this is a really big blow for them. I mean, first of all, you feel bad for Jared and the fact that he's already gone through this process before and he's you know, going through it a second time and he's still only 25 years old. Um, it's, it's really disappointing for him and for this team. I am Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. On Monday, the Oakland Athletics found out that their scheduled opening day starter, Jared Parker, will be sidelined for the entire 2014 campaign. The 25-year-old right-hander suffered a torn ulnar collateral ligament in his pitching elbow and will require Tommy John surgery to repair it. This will be Parker's second Tommy John surgery in under five years, having undergone the procedure back in 2008 as a member of the Diamondbacks organization. In other A's news, left-hander Scott Kazmir was scratched from his Cactus League start on Monday with left tricep stiffness. The club said the stiffness will only shelve him for a couple of days, and he is likely to return to the hill on Tuesday or Wednesday. The Tigers announced that Justin Verlander will make his seventh consecutive opening day start for Detroit. Brad Ausmus will hand the ball over to Verlander in place of reigning AL Cy Young Award winner Max Scherzer. Scherzer will become the first Cy Young Award winner to not start a season opener since Johan Santana in 2005. I think the history you know, played a part in it. I know uh, Brad said well before announcing this that he was aware of the streak and that, you know, that was going to be part of his uh, thought process in uh, making the selection. I think what he was waiting to see more than anything was, uh, you know, was, was Verlander going to be healthy enough for it. In other Tigers news, Jose Iglesias confirmed on Monday that he has been diagnosed with stress fractures in both of his legs. The amount of time the Tigers shortstop will be out is not yet known, but he will visit a specialist in Colorado on Tuesday. This one driven to center field, Grady Sizemore going back to the track. At the wall, makes the catch! Grady Sizemore slamming into the wall and all Red Sox eyes look towards center to make sure he's going to be okay. Out on the diamond, Grady Sizemore propelled the Red Sox past the Cardinals 10-5. Sizemore had a pair of sensational grabs and went 3-4 for four with a double and three runs scored. The former Indian is still making his case for the starting center field spot vacated by the departure of Jacoby Ellsbury. Steve Seisky's walk-off two-run double handed the Reds an exciting 5-4 win over the Indians. Jonathan Broxton made his spring debut for the Reds, striking out one in one perfect inning of relief. Here's the 3-0 delivery, and it's hit high, and it's hit deep into right field. That ball is well hit, and it is out of here. A walk-off home run by Cole Calhoun. Elsewhere in another thriller, the split-squatted Angels also walked off on the Giants thanks to Cole Calhoun's two-run shot off Gene Machi heading the Halos an 8-7 win. Also, Josh Hamilton made his 2014 spring training debut in this one, going one for three from the D8 spot in the lineup in his first game back from a strained left calf. The rest of Hamilton's mates took on the Cubs and fell 4-2. Edwin Jackson got the start for Chicago, hurling four scoreless innings, giving up three hits and striking out six in the win. The White Sox blanked the Brewers 9-0. Alexei Ramirez led the Chicago offense, going 4-4 four for four with two RBIs and a run scored. Persistent rain pounded Florida on Monday, leading to the postponement of three spring training games and the cancellation of another. For all of your favorite team spring training news, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.